McKay, your Public Affairs and Communications Manager for the Lumen Police Department. It's Friday, March 1st, and this is your LPG Media Blotter. We'll all summarize some of the most notable incidents your Lumen Police Department officers responded to over the past week or so, as well as tell you about some LPD news. On February 1st, officers were on patrol when they responded to a theft in progress at a business on Alderman Mall Parkway. When they arrived, they learned from a loss prevention employee that two subjects were inside stealing makeup products. The loss prevention employee actually recognized the same subjects from previous theft on January 31st. Officers took the subjects and their vehicle into custody, where they discovered over $12,000 in stolen cosmetics. The evidence suggests the cosmetic products are being sold for pennies on the dollar and being shipped across state lines. The subjects are believed to be a part of a Romanian traveling organized retail theft group and were booked into jail for organized retail theft in the first degree. February 20th, in cooperation with the Tahomish County Sheriff's Office, we arrested a 23-year-old male for several counts of residential burglary and theft. The subject and his co-conspirators are suspected of being involved in numerous residential burglaries, relentlessly targeting Asian and Indian homeowners from Thurston County up to Snohomish County. This marks the eighth arrest locally over the past eight months of Central and South American nationals that have been operating in an organized manner to target the victim's cash and jewelry. Evidence suggests the suspects were surveilling the victims at local Asian or Indian businesses. We suggest investing in audible alarms, camera systems, and heavy safes that are secured to the floor. More arrests are expected in the near future. On February 21st, we conducted an emphasis operation at Fred Meyer in partnership with the retailer and its loss prevention team. Officers made eight arrests. One had an outstanding warrant. Another had just been released from juvenile jail that morning. We plan to do more operations like this in the future with other businesses in Linwood. On February 25th, around 7 p.m., officers were on an unrelated theft call at the Target parking lot on Alderwood Mall Parkway. While there, officers saw a stolen Hyundai enter the Target parking lot and target a 15-year-old and a 13-year-old walking through the lot. The Hyundai intentionally struck the 13-year-old, causing him to fall to the ground with minor injuries. There appears to be no relationship between the 15-year-old, the 13-year-old, and the suspects in the stolen Hyundai. Officers immediately took action, attempted to contact the Hyundai, which took off, leading officers on a short pursuit onto the I-5 southbound on-ramp. Officers conducted a pit maneuver and stopped the stolen Hyundai. Before officers could even exit their vehicle, suspects from the stolen vehicle repeatedly shot at the officers on scene. Officers returned fire and the suspects fled on foot. Anyone with information regarding the identity of any of those involved is encouraged to contact Detective Russ Satteroff at the information below. And now on to some LPD news. On January 2nd around 12.40 p.m. at the Chick-fil-A at 196th Street Southwest, both Lumen PD and South County Fire were dispatched to that restaurant for reports of a 78-year-old female who was choking, unconscious, and not breathing. Others at Chick-fil-A attempted to do the Heimlich, but were unsuccessful. Officer Van Domlin arrived on scene in under five minutes from the initial call and took over. The reporting party told dispatchers the patient was still unconscious at this point. Officer Van Domlin successfully used the Heimlich to clear the obstruction, and when fire crews arrived a minute later, the patient was conscious and Require transportation to the hospital. Officer Van Dalman was given a chief's coin from Italian Chief Ovis on February 27th. We are hosting our third annual Cops for Inclusion event on Saturday, April 20th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This event is a day designed exclusively for our neurodiverse children, family members, and supporters. The day will be filled with lots of fun interactive games and activities. If you've attended the event in years past, the activities will be completely different this year, so come check us out again. Sign up at the link below on your screen. Professionalism, vigilance, and community is at the backbone of what we do. We're here when you need us, respond when you call us, make your safety our top priority, and work tirelessly to earn your trust. That's all for this week. See you next time.